hope you are having a lovely day. It's Franchi here for Sunny Studio Stamps and today we are going to create this sweet Hello Baby card with the adorable little elephant from the new Savannah Safari set. Here I'm starting with a piece of white cardstock I die cut with just the outside border of the freely frame eyelet lace tie. I'm going to mask the bottom with some memo tape and ink the top with the Peacock Feather Distress Ink. The sponge of my mini ink blending tool here is also already soaked in with lots of blue inks from previous projects, so my background will have its own special shade I guess. I'm starting at the bottom and I'm gently blending the ink to the top to achieve a light blue ombre effect. As you can see I always dab the excess color onto my paper and then I bring the little foam to my card. This helps me with keeping everything soft and avoiding any harsh line. As I'm finished with my ink blending here I'm going to add some splatters and for those I use the same Peacock Feather Distress Ink. I'm gently smooshing my ink pad onto a clear acrylic block, adding some water and dabbing fan. By the way, I'm just using an old clear acrylic block here because I didn't want to use my new fancy study studio ones for this, but you should definitely check them out because they are so cool. They have a light white grid on one side that's perfect to center all your stamps and line your sentiments. I'm going to link them down below in the video description with all the other supplies. Now onto the stamping, I choose the balloons from the floating by set and the sweet elephant from the new Savannah Safari one for my scene. I'm also using my stamping platform here because I usually double stamp all the images. Here I have a bunch of Copic Chow markers and I'm going to color everything with those. I usually work with two max three shades per color because I want my images to be simple, light and soft. So it's basic coloring, nothing too fancy here. I put down my darkest color which is the C2 and then I'm going to blend it with my lightest, the C0. Of course I'm going to add a rosy cheek to my critter because that's my signature look. For that I'm using R32, R20 and R000. As you can see I'm not coloring the entire image, I'm just adding color with gentle flicks starting from the edges to the center of my elephant. Using this technique will help me blend the super light cold grey color into my white cutstock better. Moving on to the balloons, I have lots of pastel colors for those. B000, YG00, Y35, R20 and R000 as my pinks and YG03. All these Copic colors are my fave and I use them all the time. I'm sure you can spot them in so many of my projects. Of course you could have colored these balloons with more shades to achieve a realistic and dramatic look but I'm all about pastels and soft dreamy colors here. <laughs> Or you could have also paper pieced them and that would be so much fun. I think I have to recreate this design with that fun technique in the future. As I finished with my coloring, I die cut them out behind the camera and then I went back to my background. I removed my memo tape and then I created my own sentiment with the Phoebe alphabet set and stamped it on the bottom of my panel. Here I have some DMC twine, it's the 310 number, the basic black, and I'm going to create the balloon strings out of it. So I cut out a piece, knotted one end, and then I arranged it to go and look nicely with my design. I used some runner tape to glue all the little black individual strings to the back of the balloons and then I used foam adhesive to secure them down to my panel. I added my elephant too with more foam adhesive and then I moved all the strings to secure them down nicely. I usually do not mix a lot of textures onto my cards, but using this cotton twine here instead of stamping or drawing gives such a fun twist to my scene, I love it. Finally, I'm adding some details to all my images and some little dots onto my blue background with a white gel pen. 
Then I decided to add a little heart, the biggest one included in the Savannah Safari set, to my card and I stamped it twice with the Lanfan Guava ink. Finally, I created my USA standard size card base out of white cardstock and I covered the front with some craft cardstock. I adhered my decorated panel down with some foam adhesive, added some sparkle with my Wink of Stella clear brush to all the balloons and this card is ready to make someone smile. Hope you like it as much as I do and thanks a lot for stopping by. Be sure to leave me some love and any questions in the comment section down below and see you soon with another cute project. Bye!